Tonight, families displaced by a mobile home park fire in Moab are recounting the moments they had to rush out of their homes. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is live tonight in Moab. And Lauren, it sounds like several families have no place to live now, and you've already reported on Moab's housing crisis. Yeah, absolutely, Jeannie Mike. I mean, this is just a huge devastation for this community. You can see the roadblocks are still up here tonight for this neighborhood. This entire neighborhood has not been able to stay here second night in a row. Law enforcement standing watch. Meanwhile, these families are distraught and they have no idea where to go. It's all right. It's all right. The entire family is in chaos. They definitely don't understand what's going on. The Wilsons have no place to live, no plans on where to go from here, in survival mode after what happened Sunday when a fire broke out in their neighborhood. He's all yelling fire. We ran out the door and he had no shoes on, no nothing. And my mother-in-law's backyard was on fire and part of our trailer was on fire and we got that out and he went around the, the front side of our trailer and that's when everything started going. Aaron and Jerry ran back inside to grab their dogs and cats and their daughter's pets. I didn't get to save all my animals. I actually pulled her out of her burning room while she was trying to save animals, so. We lost everything. Jerry started to fight the flames until firefighters arrived, while Aaron watched the blaze tear through several mobile homes, burning down six in total and damaging four more, Moab Fire says. They're still investigating how this fire started. The only thing the Wilsons saw... It looked like it was on the other side of the fence from us. As they figure out what comes next. I just, I was glad to get my family out alive and what animals I could save. Yeah, and right now the Wilsons are actually staying at Erin's workplace. She works at a hotel, so they've put her up, but that's only for a week. So many of those families in that boat tonight of what happens next. And in fact, for the people who can return, they're hoping they can return here tomorrow. We are going to be following up to find out what some of those resources will be available to them. Mike. Yeah, tough to see all that damage there. Lauren, thank you.